In this video, I'm excited to share some must-have mods for Fallout 4 that you absolutely cannot miss as we wrap up October 2024. At first, I'd like to start by introducing the Put Ur Gun In Immersive Weapon Switch mod in relation to gameplay. This mod enhances the immersion of weapon switching in Fallout 4 by making your character actually put away one weapon and draw another, adding a more realistic feel to combat. In the base game, weapons are switched instantly, but with this mod, your character will perform actions like slinging a weapon over their back or holstering it, making the transition feel more lifelike. This not only adds to the strategic depth of the game, but also increases immersion, making weapon switching feel more natural and dynamic in various situations. Next up is the Cyberpunk 2077 Bounce Back Injector mod. This mod adds the Bounce Back healing item from Cyberpunk 2077 into Fallout 4, functioning as a quick health recovery item and adding a Cyberpunk vibe to the gameplay. With this mod installed, players can use the Bounce Back Injector to rapidly restore health, even during combat, increasing their chances of survival. The item is designed similarly to its Cyberpunk 2077 counterpart, featuring a futuristic aesthetic and UI elements that blend well with Fallout 4's atmosphere. It's a great mod for fans of Cyberpunk 2077 or anyone looking to introduce futuristic elements into their Fallout 4 experience. Next up is Wade in Water, this mod enhances the way water interacts with your character in Fallout 4, offering a more realistic gameplay experience. In the base game, characters barely feel the resistance or speed changes when walking through water. However, with this mod, your character slows down when wading through water and physical effects like ripples appear when entering it. The mod also simulates different reactions based on water depth. Characters move slower in shallow water and become even more sluggish in deeper water. This adds a greater sense of immersion when crossing rivers or lakes, introducing new strategic elements to exploration and combat. Next up is No Console Spam. This mod addresses the issue of unnecessary spam messages appearing in Fallout 4's console window. When using certain mods or scripts, the console can be flooded with error messages or warnings, disrupting player immersion. This mod blocks those unnecessary messages, keeping the console clean. Now, let's dive into some creature-related mods. First up is COD WW2 Zombie. This mod introduces zombies to Fallout 4, based on the zombie mode from Call of Duty World War II, adding a new type of enemy inspired by Call of Duty's iconic zombie design. Once installed, You'll face off against various forms of zombies in Fallout 4, each reflecting the unique style of the Call of Duty series. These zombies are highly aggressive and dangerous, making combat more intense and suspenseful. This mod offers a fresh combat experience and adds a zombie apocalypse theme to your game, perfect for players looking for a thrilling new challenge. Next up is Epic Encounters. This mod makes combat with various enemies more engaging and challenging by adding new battle scenarios and unique boss encounters. Players will encounter new enemies in different locations throughout the game, each possessing their own abilities and attack patterns. These enemies are designed not just to be numerous, but also to require more strategic approaches from the player. Additionally, boss battles are introduced, allowing for confrontations with more powerful foes. These bosses provide significant challenges and excitement, enabling players to experience thrilling combat. If you're looking for even more boss creature battles alongside epic encounters, why not try the crazy Safari mod? This mod offers a unique Safari experience in Fallout 4 by adding a variety of boss type enemies and creatures from the DLC areas to the Commonwealth, allowing for exciting exploration and combat. If you're looking for even more boss creature battles alongside epic encounters, why not try the crazy Safari mod? This mod offers a unique Safari experience in Fallout 4 by adding a variety of boss type enemies and creatures from the DLC areas to the Commonwealth, allowing for exciting exploration and combat. In this segment, we're focusing on weapon mods. 
There are a few interesting ones to explore, and first up is the Deagle 50 AE, a gun many of you are likely familiar with. The sound, animations, and overall design of this weapon are fantastic, but what really sets this mod apart is its support for dual-wielding pistols. The first-person dual-wielding stance, along with its stylish reload animations, make it a standout. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend giving it a shot. While third-person animations are supported, I suggest using it in first-person for the best experience. You can acquire this weapon after reaching level 30 from gun vendors, legendary enemies, quest rewards, or from gunner bosses. The mod also offers various customization options, including attachments, allowing you to tweak both the appearance and performance of the weapon to suit your preferences. Next up is the Modern Warfare 2019 Dragunov. This mod brings the Dragunov sniper rifle from Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2019 into Fallout 4, faithfully recreating its design and features to provide a powerful and precise sniping experience. You can craft it at a chem station, and, as shown in the video, it offers a variety of customization options. True to the Dragunov's nature, it features a faster firing rate compared to other sniper rifles. So if you're a fan of the Dragunov, this mod is a great addition to your load order. Next up is the Smith & Wesson R8 Revolver. This mod adds the powerful and precise Smith & Wesson R8 Revolver to Fallout 4, allowing players to wield this iconic weapon in-game. Known for its unique design and excellent performance, the R8 Revolver is ideal for players seeking a more intense combat experience. The mod also introduces unique firing modes, such as a double-tap firing mechanic, a laser projectile pistol, and even a Gauss rifle-style unique revolver. With extensive customization options, you can modify the revolver's appearance and capabilities to suit your playstyle. This revolver can be found from gunners, vanilla .44 spawns, merchants, quest rewards, and legendary drops at level 25 and up. It features custom models, textures, animations, and sounds, making it a standout addition for those who love a well-crafted, high-powered revolver. Next up is the Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum Revolver. This mod adds high-resolution 2K and 4K textures for the Smith & Wesson .44 Magnum Revolver in Fallout 4. It replaces the base game's .44 Magnum, enhancing the weapon's appearance to make it clearer and more realistic. Additionally, this mod offers a variety of customization options, including long barrel and heavy barrel configurations, all while maintaining an excellent design. It significantly improves upon the previously simple design of the .44 revolver, making it an outstanding choice for those looking for a replacer mod to enhance their .44 revolver experience. Next up is Blink Grenades. This mod adds unique grenades that provide teleportation functionality in Fallout 4. Using these grenades, players can instantly teleport to a desired location, allowing for new strategies in combat and exploration. Once the mod is installed, players can throw the grenades to instantly move to a specific point, helping them evade enemy attacks or quickly change positions. This teleportation feature significantly alters the gameplay, enabling unexpected tactics in battles. Additionally, blink grenades can be utilized in various scenarios, providing a more dynamic experience for players. This mod comes highly recommended for those who prefer fast-paced combat and strategic approaches. In this segment, I'll be introducing about three outfit mods. First up is the The First Descendant, Dress Uniform and Twisted Fate mod, which adds stylish attire from The First Descendant to Fallout 4. This mod features two types of elegant dress uniforms along with two hairstyle options. The dress uniforms are beautifully designed, enhancing the character's appearance and adding a touch of sophistication to your gameplay. With their versatility, these uniforms can be worn in various situations, helping to elevate your character's charm and overall aesthetic. Next up is Eastern Operator, a modern combat-style outfit that features a unique design infused with Eastern aesthetics, 
adding a distinctive charm to your character. This outfit is divided into two main types, the Bars ACU Combat Suit and the Fort Voin Frag Suit. Players can mix and match various vests, belts, and gloves to create a personalized look that suits their preferences. Additionally, the top, bottom, and boots of both the Bars ACU Combat Suit and Fort Voin Frag Suit can be customized at the Armor Workbench allowing for color changes to further tailor the outfit to your taste. Next up is Tactical Surplus, Mil-Spec Armor Pack. This mod adds a variety of military-grade outfits to Fallout 4. The package features predominantly black designs, including outfits and backpacks, making them suitable for both male and female characters. It includes several types of Mil-Spec armor, such as backpacks and goggles, allowing players to choose the best fit for different combat situations. With a range of customizable options available, players can tailor the appearance and functionality of the armor to match their personal style. Finally, we have the building-related mod, Cable Car to Acadia. This mod offers a functional animated and modular cable car that allows players to travel from Longfellow's cabin to Acadia, providing a new exploration opportunity after installing the mod, players can enter Longfellow's cabin, open workshop mode, and repair the new board on the left wall near the entrance to set up the cable car. Then, by purchasing a token from the robot and inserting it into the cable car, it will start operating. The cable car runs quite smoothly, allowing players to enjoy the scenic views of Far Harbor while conveniently traveling between Longfellow's cabin and Acadia. It's a fantastic mod that adds both convenience and fun to the gameplay. Thanks for joining me today as we explored these must-have Fallout 4 mods for October 2024. If you enjoyed this video and found some great additions for your game, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comments which mod you're most excited to try out or if there are any mods I missed. Until next time, happy exploring in the Commonwealth.